Let's go. Let's go. Welcome to another episode of the Sarah Frazier Show podcast. It's Wednesday. That means it's TLC talk here at TSFS. All the biggest gossip from all of your favorite stars that appear on TLC. And do we have a lot covered? Who has set up a GoFundMe so people can pay for her IVF? Who is receiving sperm semen facials, baby, to try to look young on TV? And we finally have a release date for season 19 of Sister Wives, what everybody is saying. Let's get right into it. I know the biggest tea that you guys want is Sister Wives and so do I. So there's a couple of things going on. First of all, TLC made a monster announcement yesterday that season 19 would be back September 15th, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard on, of course, TLC Network. And then, you know, you can watch it earlier, later, whatever, uh, uh, earlier, if you're out here in California on PST time. So it is back. They released a full trailer and they released an interesting statement about it. Now, some of you guys have debated me about what this statement means. I'm going to read it. I'll abbreviate. And then what the trailer revealed. The trailer is all over social media. You can see it on my darn TikToks and let me know what you think. But it is revealing in the sense of Christine, we see Christine actually meeting David. We see Mary really wanting a formal divorce from the church. She's toast with Cody. Then we see Cody trying to get back with Janelle, apparently. And also two big key things that people are talking about on the internet. So what fans are talking about and saying that they have reactions to is kind of interesting because first of all, Fans don't seem as upset about this trailer as I thought they would be. The statement that TLC puts out of what they're going to cover this season and then the trailer seem to be conflicting or maybe it adds to it, depending on how you want to read it. But fans actually seem to be responding positively on my social media, in my DMs, and then on Reddit. People are saying, I so enjoyed the trailer, especially the clip of Sabin sitting there alone on that dumbass bench. <laughs> okay. People are happy to see Robin alone, apparently. Then people are also saying, uh, you know, Mary asking Robin uh, and, and talking to Robin's kids about moving to another state. Oh my God, I, I can't believe that moment is being shown. Other people are saying that they're really surprised with Cody saying to a wife, if you were unhappy or if I wasn't a good husband, ask yourself. So it is pretty, I'm actually amazed that people are overall think that this season is going to be pretty good and are liking the trailer. I was also going to, there's one line. Let me find it. I thought I had it. Sorry, guys. Uh, there's one line uh, that people are talking about from the trailer that's being shared over and over. People are saying, oh, my God, this line is wild. Season 19 is a go. Fans are reacting. So anyhow, fans are really shocked. But basically, Cody says something about if you're unhappy as a wife, ask yourself. That's where people are really responding. So people are already picking up some quotes from it, and they seem overall that they are ready for the season and want to hear the reactions. So here we go. I can't wait. I can't wait. All happening September 15th, so just about a month from now. That's it. The other thing that TLC, of course, I get all their press releases, had said to me and sent to everyone, including the press, was that season 19 is going to cover current events. So it's going to be covering the tragic passing of Garrison Brown, as we know. And it's also going to be covering, it sounds like, in real time, more current events that are happening. I'm blown away because at least from that trailer, they don't seem to address it at all. They don't even have any kind of a teaser for it. But it says this season, the family, this is from the press release. Now, different than what we're seeing on the actual trailer that's been released. But it says this season, 
The family faces the devastating passing of Janelle and Cody's son, Garrison Brown. Through the heartbreaking pain, the family navigates this incredible tragedy and comes together to mourn and celebrate his life. So to me, that completely indicates that while the trailer shows a lot of stuff that we know was probably filmed ugh, two years ago, I hate to say it, even, even Coyote Pass, right? Because Janelle is talking about they all have to make a payment on Coyote Pass. We know that that's already been paid. So Coyote Pass, I know for sure Cody, Robin, Janelle, and Mary still own. Christine's like long out of it. But they've all, they are all up to speed and all, you know, compliant with all their payments. Then the press release goes on to say there has been much change over the past few years where all the Browns are facing new pathways forward. Mary makes her recent decision to leave Cody one takes it one step further by appealing to their former church for an official release. Janelle doesn't need a divorce and is just moving on, which means she's leaving Flagstaff. Christine has found her soulmate, David in less than a year, they go on their first date, move in together and then marry at a beautiful wedding in Moab. Well, three of Cody's wives have left his fourth wife, Robin remains legally married to him. Now that the Browns have left polygamy behind, Robin and Cody face challenges together as a monogamous couple and how to adapt to a lifestyle they never planned on living. 